So inside here, there's basically a baby mosquito. These are, these, all these little black dots are mosquito eggs. So um, inside each of these eggs is an immature mosquito. And basically in nature, when the conditions are right and these eggs are flooded with water, they will hatch. The aquatic stage uh, will hatch and the, the larval stage will um, remain in the environment for, a, depending on the environmental temperatures, it could be uh, five to seven days, it can be even shorter if it's warmer, and then it'll pupate, so it'll be change into uh, a life form that's no longer eating any food and that's where it's going to develop most of its adult characteristics and then um, once it's spent enough time in that life stage an adult will actually emerge as you think of um, you can think of it's the same type of life cycle that a butterfly has. So you can think of a butterfly emerging from a chrysalis. The same thing happens with a mosquito emerging from a pupa. It emerges as an adult. It has all of its adult characteristics that it needs. And then it begins the adult stage of its life cycle. These eggs came from um, mosquitoes that we have in colony here and so we have hundreds of mosquitoes within a cage that we uh, provide blood to to get their eggs from to be able to do research on them to find better ways to control them so but in nature um, at one female adult mosquito for example the Zika mosquito or Aedes aegypti mosquito, she could potentially lay up to about 100 eggs um, per blood feeding event. Well, this is the wet laboratory uh, for the research department of, of the biology department. And what the girls here are doing is pulling out mosquito larvae, separating the pupae, which are almost ready to emerge as adults from the earlier um, stage larvae that will emerge as adults several days from now. Uh, what we'll do is these, uh, these pupae are being pulled out so that they are isolated. So we know how old they are. So we know specifically how old they are, the adults are, for when we want to do re research on uh, chemical trial, for chemical efficacy purposes or resistance trials. We need to know exactly how old each mosquito is. Then we put this cup inside of one of those square cages behind it. This one is a larva, the long wiggly ones you can see in the water. And then the pupa are the round ones kind of bouncing in there. So they're like the teenagers, they're almost adult mosquitoes. Uh, everyone's gonna wanna know, how do you feed your colony mosquitoes blood? Is, is it like an employee that came in late for work? <laughs> No, so we actually buy blood from a, a company in California, and you can uh, order multiple types of blood. Um, uh, we order cow's blood, and it is shipped to us whenever we need it, and it's shipped overnight, so when we get it, we have to keep it in the refrigerator, and then what we do is we just uh, get some cotton balls, soak the cotton balls in the blood, wrap them up in parafilm, which is similar to plastic wrap, uh, and then we will warm up the blood ball so that it's at a temperature that's similar to what uh, a host is, um, that a mosquito would be attracted to when it's wanting to blood feed from that host, such as a human or a cow. Um, and then we just hang the blood ball in the mosquito cage, and the mosquitoes will just kind of all congregate and blood feed. We blood feed on Fridays. 